What's up, Ramblers? It's Saturday. And I'm at home. Ruth, we missed your video on Thursday. I guess family is suddenly more important than YouTube or something. This week's theme is going to be Thanksgiving, um, but I'm not really sure why, because Thanksgiving happens the second Monday of October, and it's like the middle of November now, so I'm not sure what that's all about. I decided I'm going to talk about the real Thanksgiving that happened all those weeks ago. Canadian Thanksgiving. So, although we have a lot of the same traditions, like big football weekend and parades and stuff like that, big family meals, the two holidays are not the same. Canadian American Thanksgiving seems similar in a lot of ways, but they're not. First of all, Canadian Thanksgiving happens on a Monday, which means we get a three-day weekend. Not a whole week off because it takes place on a Thursday and therefore we should take off Monday, Wednesday, and Tuesday as well. But also the history is very different. Canadian Thanksgiving isn't celebrating the settlement of the New World by the Pilgrims or the Explorers. It's more celebration based in European and Native Canadian traditions of a harvest festival. That's why it occurs in October and not November. But actually, the Canadian Thanksgiving also has a bit of the explorer theme in its tradition. The very first Thanksgiving in Canada actually was a big feast thrown in celebration of the safe return of Martin Frobisher, uh, an English explorer who settled in Canada in the 1500s. And after having made a home here, he tried a few times unsuccessfully to find a northwest passage over top of Canada to the Pacific Ocean. When he didn't die, as many other people did in this attempt, they had a big feast and thanks for his safe return. The settlers' native guides had had an excellent harvest that year, and their feast coincided with the feast celebrating for Martin Frobisher. So the two became one, giving thanks for the harvest and for the safe journey. Over time, however, the story of Martin Frobisher sort of fell out of the tradition of Canadian Thanksgiving. And if you ask most Canadians today, they wouldn't be able to tell you that that's what we were really celebrating on Thanksgiving. What has stuck is this aspect of a harvest festival, a celebration and giving thanks for the gift of the land and the food that we eat. The festival remains strictly religious in the British and French settlers as well as in the native traditions until about the time of the American Revolution when British loyalists brought a lot of the American Thanksgiving tradition north of the border when they were fleeing from, you know, you Americans and your radical ideas. The date was changed a bunch of times after that and it took on a much more secular meaning, but it pretty much retained the same shape that it has today. Ruth, you asked me how it's different from America and I hope I've explained it well, but in the spirit of the American holiday that has just passed, I want to say that I am thankful for a lot of things. I'm thankful for my family and my close friends. I'm very thankful for Nerdfighteria and for the Ramblers. I'm thankful for my life, my health, my education, my country. I'm sort of thankful for snow. So post what you're thankful for in the comments, and Alex, I will see you tomorrow. Until then, DFTBA.